my beautiful girlies, it's Lindy here. Welcome back to my channel. Well, I think this spot is okay, but oh my gosh, I can't see myself because these glasses, you can see, they're getting really foggy. <laughs> my husband just came up with the lighting because I really just wanted to film for you while I'm still in the car and before I go into my house, there's like many steps I can tell you that I do like I personally do you can see I've had this mask on for some time now and the makeup is yes you really don't even need to wear makeup these days but I just want to tell you what I have been doing to protect myself and also my handbag and what I have inside my handbag during this very crazy times I'm sitting like really awkwardly now because um, the lighting comes in from that way so it is night time I just came back home and before I go in I just thought why not film this in my car as I've actually been outside and this is exactly what I carry with me during this pandemic like this is what I do to protect myself I thought why not just film it here and anyway I don't want to set up things and I just wanted to film this like really casually and come to talk to you like chit chatty so as for today for me and I guess for a lot of you who lives in Asia you have been through this for a long time now I have personally stayed at home for almost two months and even today my main business is not fully operating yet as I do work with a lot of companies like worldwide, we are just all in this together. It has been my husband going out for all the groceries and stuff like that. So I haven't gone out at all. And for now, there are just things I need to follow up by myself, especially for my business and also for just, you know, banking stuff and things like that. So today I have been in the bank for hours and hours and I really had to go. So I just wanted to share with you like what I do carry with me when I absolutely have to go out. So yes, I am by no meaning telling you to go out and like just take these precautions. Even if you don't have lockdown or shutdown in country, try your best to stay at home because this is the only way that will be control of the virus and preventing it for spreading even further. So today I really wanted to share with you what I do carry in my handbag because things are really different than usual. I just really hope that I can give you some ideas and tips of how to protect yourself. I know that most of you are careful and I just really hope that more and more people will take this more seriously and really remind yourself protecting yourself and being careful is not just only for you but for every single one around you like every single loved one or neighbors just protecting yourself is protecting your loved ones your family your friends and actually the entire world this is the bag that i've been using lately it has been raining other than that i'm sanitizing so so much and actually before you enter malls and stuff like that you can get sanitized anywhere and anytime so it is best not to take out your precious handbags at this time this is my palm springs mini and this is the time i've been using it the most because it is really so strong and it can take all those uh, like uh, wipes and alcohol sprays and so so this is the one that i'm bringing with me this can take everything like i have one in my car and actually i do spray my handbag with alcohol spray even my back charms these ones are entirely waterproof so it doesn't matter these are entirely waterproof so you know i've been dipping this one it has been swimming with me in the border around in macau so it is like brand new still so it is really strong and it can take all the rain and all the alcohol sprays that you would like to and this is what i've been using with me so my bag is really full and i'm going to show you the things like i'm just going to take them up randomly so <laughs> the first thing i'm talking so so much but like I said, I just wanted to come to you casually today and 
This is my pack of tissue paper that I always carry around with me. This one, Hello Kitty. And I'm just going to throw the things over to the other side and don't put it back. So you can see it is quite full, but these are the things that I carry with me. It is really different from everything else I used to show you in my what's in my back videos. The very important thing is hand sanitizer. You can't live without this these days and this one is just one from Manning so Manning's and I sanitize my hands like all all the time you can get these like anywhere in supermarkets in grocery stores in pharmacies so that is really one of the most important things to bring with you these days and I have a bunch of other things that is also like disinfective so uh, these are like alcohol wipes so actually these are from the hospital in Denmark so these are really really strong so usually I use these for cleaning my phone before I go inside and I will do the same before I go inside just in a minute so they are like this one is like small little alcohol swaps I also use these for like cleaning my earrings and these ones are bigger ones and yes because of all these like alcohol things my hands are getting really dry lately but yes this is really what you need to do like really you can't be too careful when it comes to your safety and i also carry around a disinfective alcohol spray the same as the one that i have in my car so you see i have this like everywhere now i have it in the entrance of my house like in the staircase and also at every single sink so in the kitchen and in the bathrooms you may think that it can't be too much but really there is nothing you can do to over protect yourself like protecting yourself is protecting others so i use this for so many things like when i go outside i spray my hands like maybe every 15 to 20 minutes so of course not if i'm sitting in my own like company or like let's say in my car where i know it's safe and like no one else has been there but let's say when i'm in the bank it is just every single time i use the pen or i touch the buttons for in putting my pin code i will spray my hands right after at some places where i know i need to sit for a longer time i will directly spray on that chair or a table before i sit down but i haven't seen others do that so that is just something i do and i don't want to say that you have to do this but i just think that doing that you are feeling so much safer because at least you can kill those bacterials that are sitting on those items that you're going to touch and like before i enter my home you know i have a lot of doggies and it is just much safer if i spray myself with this before i enter my home because they will jump on me and then you know if i should accidentally like have some bacterials anywhere on my clothing that i touched outside then I'll bring it to them and then the rose will just float around in my house. So I still do my very best to do what I can. Like I take my shoes off in the car and I take my slippers on. I do have my slippers that I step into when I step on my garden. Just because, as I said, I do have pets and they do run around in the garden. So... I don't want to bring any like possible virus bacterials to the garden where they are running around and like they are jumping on the sofas and onto the beds as well so it is just safest this way and I do highly recommend that you do this if you do own dogs or cats because they don't know anything right and they don't know how to take really good care and don't touch things and so they touch everything they can this virus can stay onto the surface for some time so it will die 
mostly by next day so I just leave my shoes I stay in the car till the next day and if I don't go out then my shoes are just in my car anyway my car is inside of my own garden so I don't mind and that is also the reason why I don't bring my handbag inside if I do I will like put it somewhere for some time <laughs> if you know what I mean so this is a, such a good thing to have with you I bring it with me everywhere especially when I go to the grocery store I spray myself a lot <laughs> and since I have just been in the bank today I really had to like have my power bank with me so this is just a dust bag so I keep everything divided inside of my bag so everything is like really as separated as possible let me tell you in that way so yes I use our Hello Kitty little power bank I've been sitting in the bank for hours or usually I wouldn't carry a power bank with me as I can charge in the car. And I have a little dust bag here with coins just in case but most likely I try my very best not to bring any SLGs with me. So yes, now I am getting thirsty. And by the way, this is my new Starbucks tumbler. So many of you seem to love it. Like uh, this is a limited edition for this secure collection. If you're lucky, you can still get it now. I think it is available only in some specific countries around in Asia. So that is the reason I've received so many direct messages from you if I can help you to buy one. But I was really just lucky. They have been sold out in every single Starbucks store for over than weeks and suddenly I just found one like it just popped up and it was the only one and this cup has just been really really nice in reminding myself of keep drinking water during the day and it keeps it warm actually for hours so I'm really happy for that either keep bottlet of waters in your car or maybe like this this has really helped me and the next thing I wanted to show you first, yes, you can see I keep things in my dust bags because these dust bags really helps me in keeping my things like organized inside of my handbag and they are not like my SLGs, like I can spray these with alcohol without them getting hurt. So this is what I do and I love to anyway, normally I would use these, so yes. I have some spare masks here so this one is a surgical mask and I just bended it in the middle it's a brand new one just so you know so this is how it looks like and then I have a second one just in case if I am going to anywhere that is really really full of people and very crowded then I like to wear an extra layer <laughs> so I'm not really sure if you do wear a mask or not and I know that this is really different in different countries but I do strongly believe that if everyone wears a mask how can it not be possible that it is at least limiting the spread of this virus I'm not here again to make any discussion I know that there are some people that can't buy masks but then there are also some that are trying to ask others not to wear masks and I really don't understand like to be honest if everyone just wears a mask you can just imagine at least this mask will help you in not touching your face then the bacterials of anyone will be sealed inside of the mask right and it won't like the droplets won't like be spreading everywhere so how is it not possible that it is helping at least in spreading the virus so yes and um, that is really different in different countries but most likely everyone wears a mask here when they go out and I just have another extra one here and I also do keep extra ones in my car just because if I do meet someone that suddenly you never know if they lose their mask because of the wind or something I will be happy to give one just in case they are in need next thing that is really important especially if you are going for grocery shopping so you can see I keep mine in a plastic bag and I curl them up in sets so I already used one set today in the bank and these are just normal plastic gloves so these are thicker ones and they are also just for one time use 
I do highly recommend when you go to the grocery store, I'm sure that many of you will wear gloves now, but you really can't see the virus and everyone is touching everything in the supermarket. But if everyone wears gloves as well, then at least bacterials wouldn't spread around in the grocery stores. And there are so many elderly scurrying around in the grocery stores, which I'm really sad to see. They should really stay at home. So yes, if there's any, your parents or your grandparents, if you can help them buy their things that they need, please do, do consider to help them because they are really at much more risk by going out at this time if it's the case in your country. So yes, I keep them in plastic bags like this and I just immediately, when I've been in the grocery store, most likely I go together with my husband. We will throw them right away. So always carry these around with you. Another thing that I also carry in these plastic bags is like little q-tips. You never know if you feel itchy, please don't touch your face with your hands because they are full of bacterials. Like we girls, we love to like because we're wearing makeup, right? So sometimes we can get a bit of eyeliner or stuff like that under the eyes. This is really helpful, like bringing q-tips in a little plastic bag that you know that is absolutely clean. This will really help you in removing anything. And if you feel itchy like anywhere, please use a Q-tip. Never ever touch your face with your hands. And even at home, I have started to use Q-tips. And when things are back to normal, it is really much more hygienic to use Q-tips to clean anywhere on your face or like if you're itchy or anything don't use your fingers because they are just full of bacterials even if you don't have any virus bacterials they are full of dirt so i highly recommend you to bring q-tips with you so another thing this is also something that i usually bring with me no matter situation so these are from clinics and they are just alcohol wipes sometimes you just feel a bit more clean when you first wipe your hands wipe your phone and then spray it with alcohol so this is what i carry around with me as well which is also really really must in my opinion so i have no makeup with me these days and by the way, I'm saying these days, but I do not go out every single day. It is only like today if I absolutely have to. And the only thing I bring with me is a lip balm. And anyway, I don't need to touch up during the day. I will not apply lipstick because I have a mask on so no one can see me anyway. But now I'm not going to use this. This is by Chloe de Paul. And now I see that my... Yes, my camera is going to die soon and I want to finish filming this for you. So I'm going to charge. So I just have a few more things inside of here. And here I have my car key. I try my very best not to use any of my SLGs just to have one thing less to clean. Here is my key clay and I just keep it in my car. I can attach this like anytime I want but I don't need to bring it around with me outside. So I have a little lobster clasp here. So I've put that on by myself with my own little charms and I can just put it on my key clay anytime. But seriously, one thing that I need to show you and this happened during too much wiping. Can you see the button there, the snap button, the baby pink one here? It is a really peeled. It started to peel before this outbreak started, but since I've been like spraying my things with alcohol, of course, real leather is not so good. So that is why I say LV bags, they're so good because it's canvas. And this is actually holding up really well, but this little button did not survive. And you can see, I really need to get that changed because it is totally ruined. So yes, save your SLGs, don't use them if you don't have to. So for me, I just really keep my bunch of cards and I have a bunch here and you can see the Starbucks one in the front. I just keep them directly in my bag in the 
back slip pocket which makes it easier for me yes I don't have a wallet with me but I have this little ping on full which you have seen in all of my what's in my bag videos I always carry around this one with me and this one I got it from my grandma when I was very very little and I've had it in any of the wallets that I've been using so always put it over to the wallet that I'm using and since I'm not having any wallet with me, I've just put it directly into the back slip pocket of this handbag. So yes, I love this one and now I just feel like my grandma, she is protecting me everywhere I go when I have this with me. <laughs> so that makes my handbag empty. So you can see I do have my passport head there in the back, but nothing really special about that. That makes my bag entirely empty and inside in the very bottom I have uh, this little organizer which is just really good in helping me to hold all those uh, things and keep the little Palm Springs mini in shape and this one is from lovely Samoga so they sent me so many beautiful organizers which I love so so much I've been using this in my Palm Springs mini every single time I've been using the bag and Samoga, they are so so nice. My discount code for you still do work if you are interested in getting any organizers. They are made of the very best quality. 20% discount and it still works. I'll leave the discount code right here. And you can use that to save 20% on your entire order so that was it girlies that was actually what i have inside of my bag and i've been so happy to use my palm springs mini so much more because you know i always use my pink chanel bags so my battery just died and my husband is over in the window winking asking me if he has to like bring the food out to me so i can sit and have my dinner in my car of course not i'm going back in and then i'm going to take a shower from top to toe one tip please if you're going to wash your hair can you see i've been having my hair up in every single one of my Instagram posts when I've been outside because my hair is super long and also uh, super thick and even though it is said that the bacterials can't really stick to your hair but you know if your hair is touching anything and everything it is just much easier to have it up that is much more clean for yourself so Yes, I prefer to have my hair up and as you can see, I just got it done. So no more black roots. Yes, I was really scared when I went to the salon. I may be careful, very super careful, but I do not think that I'm overreacting or anything. There are people that are even more careful than me and I think there's absolutely no limit when it comes to your health so being as careful as you can is just the very best so yes girlies i really hope that this video would like distract you from like the current situation and even give you some tips if you must have to go out and yes let me know what you are taking as precautions when you go out and if there's anything that you think that I also have to do that I didn't mention, please share down below because it would be really helpful to others as well. And I just really hope that you found this helpful in any way and that we can share more that can help each other. So thank you so, so much for watching this video, girlies. I really hope that you will all stay healthy and also please stay strong stay positive really keep being hopeful because i've been through the hardest time and i'm not saying that it is over it is still not completely back to normal but things are getting better we all need to be strong we are all in this together please take care of yourself and your loved ones especially the elderly ones in your family if you can help in any way please do so so yes girlies till next time stay really healthy take really good care of yourself and your loved ones and stay beautiful inside and out i will see you again really soon 
Bye, girlies. I have something really cute for you. So much eye candy. So this is my pink SLG Chanel SLG collection. Yay!